What up, people? Coach V, New Breed Boxing. So, maybe you just got done watching Creed or Rocky or your favorite boxer or even your favorite YouTuber or celebrity now. Jump into the square circle and shake it out. Put on a great show. Now you're motivated. You're inspired. You want to see if you got what it takes. So whether you want to be the next big name in the sport or you're just checking off another box on your bucket list, you're going to need to know the steps. There is a protocol. Just because you're the local boxing backyard champion in your neighborhood doesn't make you qualified to compete in a sanctioned amateur event. So what do you do? The first thing that I recommend you do that is not required, but I highly recommend you do, is to go get medically cleared by your doctor. You don't want to end up like Million Dollar Baby in the end of the movie, your first sparring session, and embarrass yourself and your family. I've seen a lot of people step into the gym and their first sparring session, because it, it puts you through a lot of stress your first time in the ring, and then find out they had some underlying pre-existing medical condition that surfaces in the middle of the sparring session. It's embarrassing, number one, and also it could be you know, detrimental to your health. So check that out. Keep in mind all the doctors that I've ever seen in my life and that you probably will interact with are gonna tell you that you are stupid for willingly engaging in a full contact combat sport. They don't get it. Their opinion is invalid. Make sure you're medically cleared if they say you're good to go. Say thank you. Move on to the next step. Now you're gonna to need to find a gym. So, go to usaboxing.org. I'll leave the link in the description. This, will, this website will have a database of all the registered, this is for America, for the United States. Other countries, um, they have different, you know, different protocols. In the United States, you go to usaboxing.org. You type in uh, your area and you look in the database for registered USA Boxing gyms. They will also have registered USA Boxing coaches. I've made videos on how to find a good coach in a gym. Keep in mind, there's no school for this until you get to the Olympic level. So you're gonna have to use your own discretion. And there's a lot of good gyms and there's a lot of good coaches out there and there's also some bad ones. So just choose very carefully because you don't wanna be jumping from gym to gym either. It's not good for you as a, um, as a fighter to, you know, it just slows down your developmental process and you're gonna get a lot of conflicting information because everybody coaches different. Um, and then once you get that squared away, then you yourself are gonna have to get yourself licensed as an athlete with USA Boxing. That's a pretty simple process. Again, if you're, you know, if you're competing in the regular senior boxing category, even the JOs, you don't need to, um, to really do much. All you gotta do is fill out the couple of questions and your basic personal information online and you pay the, uh, the, pay the fee and now you're a registered boxer. It's that easy. And then from that point, you know, you're gonna be looking to uh, hopefully get yourself on a local show. Those are called club shows. Um, that's, you know, just entry level boxing competition. And that's pretty much it, it's very simple. Um, if you do have a different you know, process in your country, I'm very interested to hear what other people do in other countries. So throw that in the comments. And if you just got into the sport of boxing, shout your gym out, let me see what, you know, let me see where you're at, what gyms you guys are in, and maybe we'll put you guys on one of my next shows, all right? Short little video, just give you some info on how to get started. Hope you found this informative. Go check out my Instagram, coach.v underscore. Till the next time, we out. Ow.